Good morning, my friends. Uh, a company named Meshnology offered me the chance to try this interesting pair of devices. I accepted because I really like the form factor. They look like tiny walkie talkies. In a side, you will find well known ESP32 board, specifically the Heltec, Heltec ESP32V3 LoRa, which is very popular for LoRa related projects, and I believe many people use them for mesh, mesh tastic. Mesh technology sells these Heltec board with this nice case much better antenna than this one which is included and with a large battery they can be purchased in pairs which made them perfect for my very important scientific experiment monitoring the temperature inside my fridge the red unit is placed inside the fridge and it sends temperature readings to the black unit every minute. Now I can go to nearby town or to do some shopping and still check the temperature in my fridge remotely. If the temperature suddenly rises, I'll know someone opened the fridge. Mm -hmm. Just kidding, of course, uh, I set up this mainly for testing purposes uh, i don't know actual i don't actually need to monitor my fridge but to be honest it was fun do do you know the temperature inside your fridge or deep freezer but i believe this setup can be uh, very useful in many cases for example to monitor temperature in rooms or in env environments where it is critical to keep things with within specific range and if Wi-Fi isn't available and you need to send data over a long distance LoRa is great solution and now your first question might be about range in my tests the range between two devices in urban area was about 1.2 kilometers keep in mind that I live in a small town without tall buildings uh, in open areas with clear line of sight, people have reported communication over 20 kilometers, which is really impressive. So I made these two sketches. I use Arduino IDE, like always, and uh, this is sender and this is receiver. And I added a few history lines so you can check three last reading and check when you receive the data if everything is okay you should receive each minute new temperature we have reset button and this is i put off button here label but it, this is basically the boot button uh, or gpio zero so it can be programmed and with pressing it, board is entering into sleep mode. I will share both codes. Um, mesh knowledge decided to make this box close. So if you need to put some virus, I have this temperature sensor here. It is that DS18, I don't know when we are using one wire protocol to to read temperature from it uh, but if you want to use uh, gpios and um, something that is inside you will need to you will need to drill this case and if you like those devices you can uh, find links in the description i think price is very nice around 60 dollars for two of them I will also share my code there are a code for a receiver a code for a sender and I also included my uh, version or 
a slightly edited one wire library which is used for temperature sensor and in code this is for example code for a receiver we can find few well-known libraries used for OLED display and I use also library for time on ESP32 you saw that very often in my videos and here is library for Haltech unofficial very good library for these devices here you can download it and install it you can play with these um, these LoRa settings but keep in mind that some settings might be unlegal in your country and rest of code is very easy in setup we have initialization part where we need to initialize real-time clock, OLED display, um, health and board we have a draw function which is only drawing those lines, dots and text on screen and we have loop function which will put board into this deep slip if button is pressed get voltage of the battery every second it will also um, draw new values of real-time clock and oh, of course it will receive messages received by LoRa sender sketch is a bit different we have one wire um, temperature sensor which is connected to pin 2 so this I decided to use that sensor because it only needs ter three wires one for data in this case pin 2 one for ground and one for VCC we need to use same LoRa settings and use them in setup also Sender also has deep sleep option. In deep sleep's uh, board is consuming about 9 milliamps, which is okay. This is error. Draw function and a function which will get temperature and stored to temp variable and that's it have fun with my code and this that's it i really like uh, this form factor and i really like the fact that i can use this like like remote control for something that is very far away and i can also put this in car and it's not i can carry this in my pocket without problem very very nice factor which one do you like more red one or black one very nice job thank you i'll see you very soon goodbye